Hi there, you guessed it. Padlet is getting better and better. And take a look at this, a new sandbox where you can create anything you wish and a lot more. So let's take a look at it. Right now it's free, so take advantage of it. Try it out. My first sandbox. So welcome to your first sandbox. Isn't this amazing? So you can write some text here. You can draw something that makes you smile at a video link to. OK, the same things that you would add to a Padlet wall. Uh, but these are card like that's the layout. Notice on the right here and, and these can be collaborative where y you get students um, of various ages to add content in real time. So I think it's really exciting. Uh, notice the uh, drawing tools on the right here and you can add more cards. These are like note cards, I guess. Um, that's the best way I could uh, describe it. Notice uh, you can also play. So this is the draw part and then there's the play part. Okay, where uh, you make it interactive. And let me uh, get this back in here. And uh, what else can you do here? Okay, so add more cards. Uh, go to the next card and try it yourself. Where you can upload an image, as I said before, quickly add a note, add a video, and so on. Uh, but I um, prefer to get my students uh, or participants of a workshop involved in this uh, because it's really exciting uh, to get everyone on board and collaborating on so many, there's so many ways and topics that you can collaborate. So let's go back to, that's when it's done, that's the play part. Let's go back into the draw and notice what else is here at the top there. That's the uh, open share options and these are the options. This is the Padlet's way of doing things. So if you're familiar with Padlet, you should be familiar with this as well. So what we have here is links, share, export, visitor permission. Now you want to collaborate, right? So we've got writer, reader, where they just view it, no access at all, which is, well, if you want to make it private and then only collaborators and you can add collaborators, editors, they can add new objects, new cards, and so on. So I think writer is your best bet. And you can invite collaborators, and they have the same rights as you do, more or less. You can copy the link to Clipboard. Now, breakout links. Now, this is uh, something new to the cards. Notice you can copy and use them as breakout room links in your virtual live event. And uh, notice here the play that we looked at before. Okay, that's the play. Let's go back to draw so we can go into the share here. And you can get a QR code, which I really love, and then embed in your blog or website, which I really like because that's what I do on in my Moodle courses, and then share via another app. Okay, and you've got that option as well. If you've never taken a look at that, there's Zoom. Uh, which is very important, Twitter, Google Classroom, which is important. Those use Google Classroom, I use Moodle, so that's not for me. Export as a PDF, yay. And of course, all the links are clickable in the PDF, which is unlike a, an image. And then notice the share, that's the share, that's where we are now. And these are the links um, that I showed you, copy the link to clipboard and so on collaborators I showed you that now with the collaborators you can give them visitor permissions as writers or and so on I don't know why I would give them no access link privacy uh, make it secret export okay we've looked at that you can also export as an image but as I said the difference is uh, links don't work on images but they do on PDF files so that's you can also print it out and hand it out in the classroom Lots of ideas, and um, Padlet um, is out there making all these wonderful things. So if you have any questions, let me know. And if you tried it out, and I suggest you do, let me know what you think of it.
and try it in your classroom. That's the best place to do it.